Begging your pardon. Yeah, what is- I'll see you later. Take care. Welcome to the Bank of Coral Gables. How may I help you, sir? I need to withdraw some money. Thank you for banking with us, sir. Have a pleasant day. I'll try my best. Everyone with their hands up! This is a robbery! I said put your hands up! Now, just a minute. There's really no need for this. Shut up, Mac. Nobody asked you to talk. Just just put your hands up and hand over the dough. Now, if you'll just listen for a moment. Well, what are you playing at, bucko? I ain't got time to chat. Just hand over your dough before the boys in blue get here, will ya? What do you think this is, playtime? You just come in here, waving a gun around, demanding everyone put their hands up? Have you even done this before? I... No, as a matter of fact, I, I haven't. But, but this ain't about my personal life. This is about you handing over your money. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life? Robbing banks? Surely things can't be so bad that you have to turn to a life of crime. What do you know, huh? You got no idea about my life. Times ain't so glamorous for everyone you know. Just cause you get the parade around in fancy suits doesn't mean it's the same for everyone else. Now quit trying to distract me and just hand over your cash. Face facts, would you? If you go through with this, you're gonna have lots of problems. Isn't it better to just give up and start over with your life? It's easy for you to say. You ain't been through what I have. Now I'm sick of talking. Hand over the dough or you're gonna get it. Okay, okay, enough talking. So, what's it gonna be? We've wasted enough time talking. Shut up and hand over your dough. I ain't kidding around. Hand over the dough now. Look, I don't want any trouble. Just take my money and get out of here, okay? Hey, thanks. I wish more people were complete pushovers like you. You did a good thing, Banks. That guy was bad news. I just wish there'd been another way. How am I going to explain this to Mr. Merrick? Just tell him the truth. He's a pretty understanding guy. How are things going on the Gables Project, anyway? Not bad. In fact, you might want to come to the Granada Airfield in a few days to see for yourself. Sounds like a plan. See you there, Banks. George? Yes, Alfie? I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? I went to withdraw the money to pay Mabel Cody, and the bank was held up. I had to give the robber the money so he would leave. Oh my. That is rather unfortunate. Well, we'll have to hope that Mrs. Cody accepts IOUs. Here, take this to her. That's all for now.
Pardon the interruption, folks. Huh? Oh, what can I- What's wrong with your plane? Nothing too serious. The mechanics? I- Where's- It's o- I appreciate- No- I wasn't able to get the cash, but Mr. Merrick gave me this IOU. Hmm, well, I suppose he's a fairly trustworthy person. Normally I wouldn't accept this, but we could use the exposure. Pardon the interruption. Huh? I put no. Hey, Bo. Alfie, what's going on? This is a quaint little place. I've never been here myself. It is, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of the one back home we used to go to. I can see it, sure. But all these diners tend to look the same after a while. There's something about this one. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels special somehow. Why don't you get a job here? I just might, actually. Really? I was just pulling your leg. You're telling me you actually want to work? Is it that hard to believe? To be perfectly frank, yes. What's made you change your mind? Leaving the city, coming down here... I guess it's just made me realize I need to be independent. How's... How's Mother doing? She's okay. Coping. Like I said, she's got friends who keep her company. It's been nearly ten years since Father died. She needs to move on. Tell me something I don't know. In a way, I think my moving down here will do her some good. She'll realize she has a life to live on her own. I certainly hope so. Has New York changed much? You've been gone less than four months. How much could it have possibly changed? You'd be surprised, Bo. Although, to tell the truth, I get the feeling this city will be almost unrecognizable in a few years. Just the way of the world, I suppose. You really give me the heebie-jeebies when you get all philosophical like that, Alfie. Hey, Bo! How'd you like to go for a drive? Really? Where to? How about Dinner Key Marina? You can look at the boats in the ocean. Sounds like the bee's knees. Let's go! Hello there. Fine day for- I'll just be on- Have a nice day. Hey now, don't be fooling around with that. Bo, come over here. What is it? I need you to do me a favor and chat up the security guard. Tell him you own that hydroplane over there. What? Why? Just trust me. Oh, and if he starts asking you questions about it, just make something up. I get the feeling he isn't exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer. Um, okay, if you say so. Come on, Bo. Let's head back. That was fun. I'm glad we made it back in one piece. Thanks for the ride, Alfie. Is this the sort of magneto you need for the engine? It sure is. How were you able to get one so quickly? I have my ways. Well, you really saved me some time. I'll get to work replacing this right away. Fantastic. Here's your wrench back, by the way. Thanks. Hello there, my good man. Yes? How badly is the rudder damaged? See for yourself. Looks like- So what are you waiting on to fix? A new rudder top. Should be here in a few days. Is there anything that might be used as a substitute? Any decent sized wooden plank would do in a pinch. I'll let you-
Go ahead and get back to whatever you were doing for George. Would you be opposed to me taking your sign, Doc? Take it. I'm sick of the sight of it. Hello there, my good- Yeah. I'll- See? Think you might make use of this piece of wood? Hmm. <laughs> now let me see. I think I can, yeah. If I shave off a bit of the side here... It'll work as a replacement for the missing chunk of rudder. Hey, thanks, mister. You really saved me some time here. Happy to help. Hey, you've really helped me out with getting this plane fixed. It should be ready by tomorrow. This is it. Are you ready? I think so, Flyboy. Are you kidding? I was born ready! Only thing is, we can't seem to find Dave. Who? The fellow who drives me over to the plane so I can climb on it. Why to turn out today, Banks? Seems Merrick has got a lot riding on this little show. Feeling nervous? Nervous? Me? Of course not. Oh, by the way, Miss Cody, I ran into someone named Dave on my way over and he said to tell you he wasn't feeling well. At least, I think that's what he said. He was a bit hard to understand, to be honest. <sighs> he probably got in the curly secret stash of corn whiskey again. Well, looks like we're gonna need another driver if we aim to get this stunt performed today. I'll drive the car. You sure? You ain't practiced with us before. How hard could it possibly be? Don't worry, Banks. With a pilot of my skill, this will be like shooting fish in a barrel. It will be, assuming you ain't one of those all hat and no cattle types. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but I'm sure this will all go down without a hitch. All right, let's get this done. We've got a crowd to impress. Okay, Banks, it's as simple as cow pie. All you gotta do is keep her steady and let Curly know when to lower the top. That'll signal Flyboy. When the plane comes, keep her at the right speed and position so I can climb up on it. Going too fast, Banks! Trying to move the top now would rip it off like tissue paper, and you lose control of the car! Not going any further that way. Woo-wee! We're kicking up a heck of a lot of dust! Is that gonna be a problem? Nah, makes things more exciting, like a cattle stampede! She's lost her grip! Thanks! Do something! I can't hold on much longer! She won't be able to climb up the ladder if she doesn't regain her footing! Oh, that was a close one. Now, let's try getting it right this time. Oh no, she's lost! Thanks! She won't- Oh, that was now-
Okay, Banks. It's as simple as win the point. going any further. When the not going any further. Not going any. Oh no! What? She won't. Oh, that was a club. Now let's try it. She won't be able to... Oh, that was out. Let's... Okay, Banks. It's as simple as cat. If I slow down anymore... So you can get your footing back. Yee-haw! That did her! Thanks, Alfie! So, they finally gave me my own sales team after I practically had to beg them for it. No kidding. I'm glad to hear they've finally come around. You get your own office, too? No, not yet. Ah, well. Things will work themselves out. I mean, it's only been, what, three years? 
Four, actually. <laughs> well, you can't expect to become an overnight success, especially not with such a risky project. Have they at least given you a nicer car? No, I'm still driving that old green heap around. Ah, uh, I see. Well, business talk aside, how's your brother doing? Good, as far as I know. I haven't really spoken to him in a couple of months. Last I heard, he was going back to visit our mother. Wouldn't surprise me if he was asking to borrow some money. But then that's Bo for you. Born with a silver spoon in his mouth and spoiled rotten ever since. Anyway, Meeks, it was a pleasure catching up, but I really should be going. Have a good one, Banks. Hello, Meeks. Banks is... Mr. Banks, a message came for you from Mr. Merrick. He said to meet him at his mother's home as soon as possible. Thank you, Morris. It's been a while since I've been here. I wonder why George invited me. Hello, Alfie. Glad you could make it. Thanks for having me. It's great seeing you all, although I have to confess I'm a bit confused as to why I'm here. I'm glad to see he's managed to stay modest. It is one of his better qualities, Mother. I just wanted to say that over the past few years, you've been extremely valuable to us. Not only have you helped immensely with establishing Coral Gables, you've also managed to climb the ranks in the office in a relatively short amount of time. Oh, George, stop beating around the bush, would you? He knows what he's accomplished. What he's trying to say, Alfie, is that you're a man who can get things done. And as it happens, we need you for something very important. Yes. Thank you, Eunice. My dear wife, always to the point. In any case, we're getting close to incorporating Coral Gables as a city, and that requires a special team. A team I want you to be a part of. I'm honored, sir. As I'm sure you've heard, we're only a day away from launching our electric streetcar line. We'll be having a ceremony to commemorate the launch. But we'll also be making a very important announcement. The new mayor of Coral Gables. M mayor? Yes, every new city needs a mayor. Since we're not a very big city, we have the luxury of foregoing elections and having the first one appointed. I think announcing the mayor along with the streetcars will bring heaps of publicity. Wouldn't you say so, Miss Douglas? I've already got most of the article written. Just need to punch it up a bit with the details. Why not bring in someone well-known to make a speech at the ceremony? That would certainly make an impression. I thought you might suggest something like that, Banks. Did you have anyone in mind? Not for certain, but I'm sure I can find someone in town. I might be able to help you there, Alfie. Well then, I look forward to seeing what you accomplish. Good afternoon, Eunice. Good afternoon, Alfie. What's on your mind? How have you been? It's been a while since I last saw you. It really has been too long, Alfie. But I've been well, thank you. Mostly busy with the PTA at the school George built a couple of years ago. We should have these little gatherings more often. You know you're always welcome here. You're his wife. Surely George has let something slip about who's going to be mayor. Oh, Alfie, you know how George is about secrecy. Even if he had told me, I couldn't say. Especially considering he's standing right over there. Hello. You'll find out along with the rest of us. Any insights on places I might be able to find someone well-known to speak at tomorrow's event? I haven't really been out much lately, but I've heard that the Venetian pool is drawing quite the crowd. It's a beautiful day. Why not go there and get some sun? You might meet someone interesting, too. I just might do that. Thanks. I'll speak to you later. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Merrick. Hello, dear. How have you been feeling? Just fine, thank you. I'm content to stay in and watch everything going on around. I'm impressed by all the changes myself. I can't imagine what it must be like for someone who's lived here for so long. I'm curious to know what this place will look like in five years. I hope to be around to see it. Oh, I'm sure you will. You must be proud of your son. Extremely. George always did have ambitions, but to see him succeed... From what George has told me, I'm sure your parents are proud of you, too. I... yes, I think they are. Would you happen to have an idea of where I might be able to find some well-known people in the community to speak at tomorrow's event? Hmm... well, I don't get out too much these days. But I've heard that some notable people have been playing at the Biltmore Golf Course. Great. I'll swing by. Uh, no pun intended. Nice talking with you. Always a pleasure, my dear. 
I'm eager to see what you come up with, Banks. There never seems to be a dull moment with you around. I greatly appreciate your help, son. You truly go above and beyond the call of duty. I just knew this hard work would all pay off. Ah, oh, George, you sneaky old egg. Alfred Banks, first mayor of Coral Gables. If only you could see me now, father. <laughs>